Hi guys, welcome to a video, and in today's video, I just wanted to review the film Blue Jean. I saw this at the cinema a while ago, and I was absolutely blown away by it. It's one of the most intelligent and well-made lesbian films I've seen in a long, long time. It's been 84 years. If you're not familiar with Blue Jean, it's set in England, 1988, where Margaret Thatcher's conservative government is about to pass a law stigmatising gays and lesbians forcing Jean, a gym teacher, to live a double life. Jean has always kept her sexuality hidden from her co-workers, but that veil of self-protection comes under threat when she spots one of her new students, Lois, at the local lesbian bar she frequents with her girlfriend, Viv. For those of you who aren't familiar with British lesbian and gay history, Section 28 was a legislative designation for a series of laws across Britain that prohibited the promotion of homosexuality by local authorities, particularly in schools, and it was in effect from 1988 to the early 2000s. So what did I love about this film? Oh my gosh, where do I start? There was so, so much care taken with the artistic direction, the cinematography, the mise-en-scene, the editing, and every single shot in this film was meaningful and had purpose. For the most part, a lot of the commentary and the narrative in this film is told visually. Jean doesn't need to say how isolated she feels as a lesbian. She doesn't need to vocalise her growing sense of anxiety and paranoia in an increasingly hostile climate. Because the film shows us, and it does a fantastic job, of making the audience feel that same sense of repression that Jean is feeling herself. The film also utilises snippets from the radio or the television to make commentary on gender expectations of women and convey the homophobic landscape of the 80s. The film also really captures the gritty essence of Newcastle in the 1980s and the average day-to-day -day life of working class women within that time period, which was just a joy to watch. As strange as this sounds, there was something so refreshing about watching two women just sitting on a sofa eating cheap noodles and watching trashy TV. I feel like working class narratives and representation in lesbian film are few and far between, so it was just a joy to watch for me. The love scenes in this film are very tender, and even though there's quite a bit of nudity in this film, you know, which I, I appreciated, women's bodies are not hypersexualized. The love scenes and the nudity didn't feel gratuitous or salacious at all. They felt meaningful, safe and realistic. And it's incredible how different the portrayal of women's naked bodies are through a female lens, particularly a lesbian one. I think that's really interesting. Yes, it covers a period of time which was very difficult for lesbians, but it also explores lesbian joy and a real sense of community. It also portrays books and gender non-conforming lesbians who tend to get left out when it comes to lesbian representation on screen. And it does this in a way which is completely unapologetic and authentic. I think a lot of the time when we explore gay culture in the 80s, the focus is very much on gay men. For obvious reasons, of course, given the horrific impact of the AIDS crisis. And of course, it's necessary to explore that on screen. But I feel it's also important to explore the lives of lesbians within that time as well and show how they were impacted by things such as Section 28, especially since a lot of lesbian history is still largely ignored and hidden. It's just nice to see that brought to the forefront. I thought the relationship between Jean and Lois was a layered and interesting one. It seemed to me that Jean felt some kind of obligation towards Lois. As an an older lesbian and perhaps saw Lois as a younger version of herself. It's pointed out by Viv that the two of them are quite similar, and it was also interesting to see how Jean processed some of her trauma through Lois. 
But I do also feel like there was a slight ambiguity with Jean's feelings towards Lois in some scenes, especially the scene where Jean is drowning her sorrows and thinks she sees Lois dancing for a moment. That kind of shot within cinema is often romantically coded, so it did leave me wondering. I mean, perhaps I completely misinterpreted it. I just wasn't sure if that was done on purpose or not, but moving on. I mean, the acting in this film is just incredible across the board. All of their performances are nuanced and authentic. A lot of people have praised Rosie McEwen's performance in particular, but honestly, I thought the whole cast was incredible. There's some really emotionally touching moments between Jean and Viv in particular, and it was so easy to be sucked in by their dynamic and chemistry. I thought both actors worked really well off of one another. And a lot is said by the actors in this film without dialogue. This is definitely a production where you want to pay attention to what's not being said, you know, the visuals and the details. The ending was also refreshing given the themes in this film. It felt like such a relief when Jean finally broke her silence and found her voice. You could really feel Jean shedding all that weight that she'd been carrying around with her for the entire film. There was a real sense of freedom about the ending and I feel like it ended on more of a positive note than a negative one. And ultimately, I think this film is a love letter to lesbians in a lot of ways. It celebrates the lesbian community and it shows joy within the community, even in times where wider society was hostile to their existence. It also highlights a piece of lesbian history which isn't often explored on screen and shows us the impact that Section 28 had on gay women in particular. I don't have any criticisms for this film, not even one. I mean, it was just very airtight on a technical level. And the film is really just my cup of tea. It's the 80s, it explores working class narratives, it focuses on dykes. I mean, I, I love it, I love it. Just give it to me, give it to me. Respectfully. Overall, Blue Jean is just an incredible piece of work by Georgia Oakley and she should be very proud of the film that she's created because it's a bloody good one. If you want to support lesbian content and women's voices, this voice, you're leaving. Okay, good. Please do come and join the Sapphic Underground Club. It's pretty much just a monthly tip for the content I put out, or you can leave me a one-off tip. Sort of like OnlyFans, except I don't take my clothes off and instead put a lot of clothes on because I get cold quite often. It's erotic. It's tantalizing. It's it's forbidden. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!